Hey guys, it's Will again from GDMC. Um, it's Sunday, October 11th right now. Um, doing a little quick update vlog while I'm in bed before I head out to do other things today. Um, so, people have been asking me in person mainly and a little bit on the MySpace when Wallace Stock is. Um, I personally don't know. Uh, Wallace Stock is a Wahai tradition now that they do every single year pretty much. Um, last year we, uh, we did the lighting for it and the photography. Um, so, don't know when that is going to be rebooked for, but it was originally going to be booked for this Tuesday evening, but they decided not to do it. Um, the re recording session that I had yesterday, I don't know if you, I told anybody about it, but yesterday I had a recording session with a band at, a, at their practice space, which did didn't sound all that bad actually. I'm pretty pleased with the recording how it came out. Um, <clears throat> I had my DI box. I don't get it. I don't know if I wired it wrong or something or it didn't have enough power or had too much power and short circuited or something like that. But the DI box just decided to break down on me. It didn't want to work. It wanted to bring signal through it but it was a very low signal, so he ended up just plugging in the guitar directly into the board. I know that is very, very bad for the board, but I didn't have an, an extra mic for that guitar cabinet, and plus the guitar cabinet didn't sound all that good either, so we just decided to hook up the guitar and the amplifier directly into, the, uh, into my uh, mixing board, the Behringer board that I have. Um, other than that, it was a pretty good session. I think we ended up having a one-hour sound check um, and about two and a half hours of recording. I think it was two and a half hours of recording. So it was pretty good, uh, pretty productive, uh, probably the most productive a uh, recording session that I've ever had. Um, so it was pretty good. I think I might be investing more time with this band. So, because I'm digging their sound. I'm, uh, if I get permission from them to upload, a vi upload one of their tracks, I'll definitely do that or play it so that you guys can hear it on YouTube. Alrighty guys, um, I'll keep you guys posted on new events and new stuff coming in. Um, I bought a brand new fogger, two, two foggers actually, I don't know if, so then my last video I probably did uh, last weekend, so I still yet to actually test them out. Um, I tested one of them out last weekend, I did a video on it, but somehow my camera deleted it so <clears throat> maybe I'll bring them over here at the studio and or even do it over at the greenhouse and show you guys um plus I got a couple new cases one brand new big case um, that's not really important but I'm pretty proud of it because I can condense consolidate everything into one case which is nice because I don't want it carrying around a lot carrying a lot of small cases I just rather put everything into one big case and just throw it in yes it's like heavy as a beast but I can deal with it it's a two-person job lifting it out and plus uh, I can e easily leave it into the back of the truck and not worry about someone walking off with it. I can just paddle, I have a lock on it, and I can easily chain it to 
to one of the tie downs in the truck. So it'll, it's nice. Uh, it's a Stanley case, work case uh, that you see at like Home Depot and stuff. Really big tool chest, rolling plastic one. It's like big and industrial looking case. It's nice. Um, planning on probably getting another one of those or a little bit smaller one for all my sound stuff because noticing yesterday I made like five or six trips to the truck uh, just grabbing all the recording stuff like stands, my cable box, mics, um, an extra cable box that I use for like uh, laptop and hooking up the laptop to the board and stuff like that so yeah it was pretty annoying so I'll be thinking about getting another case alrighty guys talk to you guys later practice and enjoy